All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about the big brother in the ICE family from Varney. So this one is going to be the ICE 1811, which is, again, the larger one. So you've got the 1709, which we've got another video. I will link that one in a little bit. And the 1811, the one we're going to look at today, which is the larger, bigger pair. And you'll see this one, of course, once you actually put it on here, you've got... A ton of room on it. This one's big on me even, so yeah, pretty good size on this one. Not quite as large as the oversized Glacier, but pretty darn close. Now, what I do like about this one, it has some of the features from the racing family, which is interesting. I'm not quite sure about it. Maybe that's where they took the inspiration from, uh, from this model over to the racing series, the new version of those at least. And that is, of course, that little slot in the front. And I mentioned in that video on the new 1918 that that little slot lets a little bit of air flow through the frame so you don't have to worry about the lenses fogging up quite as much, which, in my opinion, that's a really nice feature, particularly for something you're going to be using for sports where you want that full wraparound and full coverage. Now... The great thing about the Ice series and the reason the 1709 and the 1811 are so popular is these little side shields here you saw on it, of course they fold down so you can leave them on and fold the temples, but they are also removable very easily in fact, so I can do it with one hand and you can see that it brings the frame down just a touch from that full sport look to something at least a little bit more casual. You do still have a pretty aggressive wrap on this one and still a nice extension on those sides. So even without the side shields in place, you still get a really nice bit of coverage. And of course, a little bit more fashionable look this way, still pretty cool all around. Now, just like the 1709, you do have, it's kind of hard to show that way, there we go. So you do have that spring hinge built in to the temple as a core, and these are nylon frames, so extremely rugged. Mineral lenses, as always with Varney, this particular model is the blue Polar Lynx lenses. Yep, so polarized for out on the water or wherever. And of course, you've got that strong mirror above and below, which is why I'm not complaining about my light up there. That mirror takes care of most of that glare from above. So that's one feature you get from that bi-shaded mirror, which I have always been a fan of, whether it's a polarized lens or not, is extremely helpful. Now, again, another feature that comes over from the 1709, we've got these adjustable temples at the back. So you've got that Monel core for adjustability. Very easy to flex and bend and get exactly into the shape you need it to be to either follow the curvature of the head or down behind the ear for that nice snug fit. So even when it is way oversized, it doesn't fall off. And yeah, that's all I've got time for before I get run over in my own garage. Yep, that's coming up. So I will catch you guys next time. Yeah.